It all starts with Kaizaki, a 27-year-old unemployed man, single and drunk. Basically, he is a failure and on top of that, his mother calls him and tells him that she has bad news, saying I can't give you any more money, and that you are 27 years old so it's time you stood on your own feet. All of a sudden, a guy shows up who knows everything about Kaizaki. He says you're unemployed, your mom stopped giving you money, and you're 27 with no steady job. Thunderstruck, Kaizaki asks who are you, to which he says where are my manners. My name is Ryo, and reveals that he's from the Real Life Lab. Laboratory. He explains that he's talking to Kaizaki because he's been selected as a test subject for real life. Kaizaki asks what it is, to which Ryo explains that the experiment will last for one year, all living expenses paid, and depending on how it goes, he could get a job after. Kaizaki asks what the catch is, and Ryo tells him that all he has to do is test this pill. He explains that you'll be able to rebuild your life and be a teenager again, so he'll have the opportunity to correct all the mistakes he made, and Kaizaki agrees as he doesn't have anything to lose. The next day, Kaizaki wakes up and looks looks in the mirror, astonished to see he is young again. Ryo then pays him a visit and makes him sign a contract, and also informs him that he will be attending school for the duration of the experiment. School begins and Kaizaki takes a seat right at the back of the class, however he is approached by a girl, called Hishiro, who is a prodigy but a bit socially awkward. She tells Kaizaki he's sitting in her place, so he apologizes and moves. The teacher tells him to put his bag away. When she notices a pack of cigarettes in there, she freaks out and gives him an after-school detention. The class take an exam and after Kaizaki is finished, he is very worried because he couldn't answer anything. When the final bell rings, Kaizaki goes to leave but is stopped by his teacher, who reminds him that he has to stay after school. After lecturing him for a while, she tells Kaizaki to write an apology letter and sends him home. When Kaizaki is leaving, he is ambushed by Ryo, who informs him that it's his job to observe and report about his year. He asks him how it feels to be in high school after so long, to which Kaizaki replies, It's been a total train wreck. Ryo explains that the real-life experiment was designed to rehabilitate those who've dropped out of society, so they can get back on the right track. The following day, the teacher reveals the students' test results. Oga Kazuomi scored highest for the boys, and Ishiro for the girls. Kaizaki receives his paper back and happened to fail everything. At lunch, a girl called Onoya asks Kaizaki if he would like to eat lunch with her. He hesitates as he finds the whole age thing weird, but ends up accepting and Oga joins them. In the cafeteria, Kaizaki notices Ishiro having trouble getting food, so he goes over to check on her. She tells him that she didn't bring any money today, so Kaizaki offers to lend her his. Ishiro asks how are you so comfortable lending money? It's like you're a grown-up. However, she ends up accepting it gratefully and says she will pay him back tomorrow. Later, Ishiro reveals to Kaizaki that even at her age, she doesn't have any close friends, and asks Kaizaki if she really is unapproachable. He says quite frankly, yes, but maybe try smiling a little more. She smiles and asks if this is good, to which Kaizaki tells her no, and to abandon the smile strategy. He tells her not to worry too much about it, and that you'll make friends in time. Meanwhile, Ryo watches over Kaizaki just in case. He also tells him that when the trial year ends, they will erase the memories of all his school teachers and friends, so everyone will forget the existence of the 17-year-old version of him. He also informs him that if he tells anyone about the experiment, they will end the test immediately and he will go to being 28 without remembering a thing. Ryo reminds him that only his exterior is 17 years old, but his mind and insides are still 27. The following day at school, Kaizaki finds a note in his locker from Ishiro, which contains the money she owed him and a thank you. At gym class, the girls are told to start with a 50 meter dash, and the guys start with handball toss. When it's Kaizaki's turn, he barely throws the ball a meter. The teacher asks what's wrong with him, and he complains that his arm hurts and his shoulder won't rotate. Everyone thinks he just sucks at sports, but we all know it's because he's really an unhealthy 27 year old man. During the sprint, he falls flat on his face running, and one of his classmates carry him to the nurse's office. After, we see Ryo going over Kaizaki's file. It's been one month since he started the real-life experiment, but concludes the whole thing appears to be progressing well. We also see him looking into one of Kaizaki's classmates, called Karyu, a very stubborn and competitive girl who is shown to be quite determined, as she came to the first day of school, sick, in order to beat Ishiro in the exams. The following day, Ishiro does her creepy smile at Karyu. We all know that Ishiro Hishiro is actually trying to be nice, however Karyu misunderstands the gesture, and thinks Hishiro is making fun of her because she beat her in the recent exams. A hatred began to arise in her, and when she was practicing volleyball, her partner abruptly leaves with two of her best friends, which breeds even more hate and envy in Karyu. After she returns the keys to the gym, she sees Hishiro's bag on the floor. She gets mad because Hishiro does everything so well without effort, and reveals that being top scorer wasn't just about the status, but proof she is supposed to be with Oga. She becomes enraged and takes Hishiro's bag, planning to dump it somewhere. However, she bumps into Kaizaki, 
who asks her to show him to the staff room. Kiryu apologizes and says I've gotta get home, but Kaizaki doesn't let her off the hook that easy, and asks why she has two bags. Kiryu panics and tries to run away. She slips on the stairs and is about to fall down them, but Kaizaki saves her just in time, or not. Kaizaki wakes up in the nurse's office, where the nurse reveals that Ishira was the one who found them, and tells Kaizaki he did a good job as he shielded Kiryu from the fall. After she leaves, Kiryu wakes up and Kaizaki questions her on why she had Ishiro's bag. She finally comes clean, explaining that she was just going to hide it somewhere. Kaizaki says why, do you think harassing her is the only way you can beat her, and goes on to explain that trying to knock others down a peg just means lowering yourself, and that the Kiryu he knows is better than that. Kiryu breaks down in tears and Kaizaki comforts her, saying that she's too busy comparing herself to others to see her own worth. He then tells her that she has the wrong idea about Hishiro, and in the end, he makes Kiryu feel better with his older wisdom. Kaizaki talks to Hishiro and explains everything. She tells him that she's going to solve it by herself, and Kaizaki leaves. However, his protective instincts kick in and he ends up walking backwards, as he wants to make sure Ishiro is safe, when all of a sudden, Ryo pops out from behind a tree, surprising Kaizaki, but says you should be used to this by now, and wherever you go, I go too. Ishiro finds Karyu to clear the air and they start talking. Meanwhile Ryo and Kaizaki are spying on them from behind the tree. Kiryu admits she hates her, saying that you took everything I wanted, and that every time our eyes meet, you made fun of me with that smile. However, Ishiro explains it's just the way I smile, and Kiryu realizes she misunderstood her the whole time, and they become friends. The days pass, and Oga along with Onoya surprise Kaizaki at his house. Kaizaki gets crazy since he has cans of beer and many other things that will give his real age away, so he hurries and puts everything away. They go in and study for a while, but in the middle of it, Oga is called to work, so he has to go, leaving Kaizaki and Anoya alone. Ryo bugged Kaizaki's place and begins listening to their entire conversation on the cell phone. He realizes Kaizaki is alone with Anoya in his apartment, so he hurries over in case anything happens. Anoya tells Hishiro that she's in love with him, but Kaizaki rejects her as it would be wrong, and at that moment, Ryo arrives. However, it is revealed that Anoya is actually 27 years old, and an employee of real life. She also took the pill, which is why she looks so young. And we come to find out she was in fact testing him. Because some real life test subjects take the opportunity to get with schoolgirls during the experiment. Kaizaki is adamant that he would never do something like that. But they explain it's just a precaution because things with the last test subject went super bad. And that's why they monitor Kaizaki so much. Later in volleyball training, a girl called Tamurai passes out from lack of sleep. And Kiryu sprains her ankle. So she won't be able to participate in the upcoming volleyball tournament. Tamurai tries to comfort her, but she throws everything back in her face, saying I'm not a prodigy like you and I need training to be able to play well. After that, days went by without them speaking to each other. Karyu's childhood friends eavesdrop on what they're saying, so they drag Karyu over so she can hear what Tamurai really thinks, which is that she's a raging b-word who is unbearable to be around. Just kidding. What she really says is that sports is the only thing she's been exceptional at, which earned her a lot of resentment from other kids. But then she met Karyu, who made her want to continue playing volleyball. When they finish talking, they get up to leave, and when they open the door, Karyu is right there with her friends. You would think that after hearing Tamurai's feelings, they were going to fix things, but Karyu is still angry. Tamurai begs her to stay on the team, but Karyu says she already told Sensei she is retiring. Days later, the final match of the tournament arrives, and Karyu doesn't go so they they start playing without her. Meanwhile, Hishiro persuades Kiryu to make up with Tamurai as she wants to be friends with both of them. And after some heartwarming words, Kiryu agrees to make up. She shows up to the game and her teammates are happy to see her. They play the rest of the match out, however they end up losing the game. But friendship is what matters the most. Later, Oga finally realizes that he is in love with Kiryu. So at the festival, they make it official and start going out together. On the other hand, Kaizaki accidentally fell in love with Hishiro, and it seems that she did too, but he doesn't want to do anything because he is 27, and later everyone will forget him anyway. However, we come to discover that Ishiro was in fact another test subject for the real-life experiment, and we see a flashback of when Ryo approached her and talked with her about it. So pretty much, neither of them know they're both on real-life, so they're holding back as they think they'll forget each other. But we know they won't as the subjects of real-life get to keep their memories. Nevertheless, they cherish the moment and watch the fireworks together. Later, Kaizaki tells Ishiro to make lots of friends and enjoy every moment to the fullest, and she tells Kaizaki she will never forget him. He says I will never forget you either, and this brings the anime to an end. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. See you in the next one, take care.